Welcome back. Why do I choose to do all of my gaming on Linux? Part of my reasoning is, is because uh, with Windows 11 shifting in a direction that it's constantly watching what you're doing, and it's constantly, honestly, selling your information for profit. So I've been a Linux user, honestly, since 2004 is when I first got onto Linux. Linux is what made me shift over to an NVIDIA card, actually, at that time, because Radeon GPUs at the time were not part of uh, AMD. And the drivers were not great. <laughs> and in the past few years, since AMD shifted more toward an open source type of setup for drivers, that's honestly gotten better, which has made me shift back to an AMD card. Well, to a Radeon card, which has gotten me to shift back to a Radeon card. With the drivers being very, very good, and AMD, honestly, with them discontinuing their AMD VLK drivers and shifting focus to the open source RADV drivers, Hopefully the ray tracing in RADV gets better. It has been updated for the RDNA 4 cards for better ray tracing performance. And with my uh, 7900 GRE card, I'm noticing the ray tracing performance is actually better. But things that I like to do is I do like running fairly old games. Like a game I'm playing right now is actually a uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. That game without patches and other things has issues on Windows 10 and Windows 11 because of the very old DirectX. But under Linux, you can get it to run with Lutris, but I chose to get it running under Bottles. I installed bottles using Flatpak and then installed the game files into that. But then I loaded up, as you can see with the way the graphics look, <laughs> I loaded up Need for Speed Most Wanted Redux version 3. And initially I tried to set this stuff up under Lutris. It had issues and once I installed all the, the Redux mods, it would not load properly. But when I put it under bottles, I was able to download some dependencies that were needed inside of bottles, like different fonts for text and Visual C redistributables and other things that were needed to get it running perfectly fine. And it does play the videos. The video playback, though, that I'm noticing with this game is the audio is slightly behind the video, but once in game, the audio is fine. In game racing, the audio seems to be in sync. I don't notice it being out of sync. It's just only video out of sync with the video playback, but I do like the mod with this game because it gets rid of that bright bloom effect to honestly cover up the graphics from 2005, <laughs> which this game is from. Do play it. The game has not crashed on me. The only time it crashed on me is when I was tinkering around with settings inside of bottles. But once I got everything the way I wanted it, the game runs totally fine, works with my Xbox Series X controller. And honestly, that's one of the things I like about Linux is being able to run old games is because Proton with DXVK is able to translate all the way back to DirectX 8 into Vulkan now. So I can honestly play like very old games on Linux now. But the other game that I've been playing is using emulators. But the other things that I've chosen Linux for that I really do a lot of on my Steam Deck 
but here you're going to see me running the Wii U emulator to play Xenoblade Chronicles X. The game runs very, very good. Uh, I do enable a bunch of patches for it to increase the resolution of the game up to 4K for my monitor. Fixes the brightness and contrast so the game looks good. But you will see in the video that the game does have some graphical glitches in the game. And that is partly because of it running under Vulkan. If I run it using OpenGL, the frame rate is lower, but the graphical glitch is gone. So there is that, but I honestly, I use my Wii U to back up my games, my physical games that I do own, to play them on the go on my Steam Deck or on my desktop or here in the future on a home theater PC at higher resolution. That is something I do like, uh, you know, and honestly, the emulators and with the Nintendo consoles, you know, I've want, been wanting to play the Xenoblade series. So that is something I've started doing with Xenoblade Chronicles X. Some other games I may actually play on the actual Nintendo Switch or possibly a Switch 2. The Switch 2, I'm honestly waiting on that console because I don't feel it's worth buying if most of the games are digital download where the game's not actually on the cartridge. But for most of my gaming, I do pretty much 100% of it on Linux. And with my computer specs, I'm currently playing through the last Star Wars game, not the one that uh, has the weird... Uh, graphics on the characters but uh yeah jedi fallen order you know and stuff like that i'm playing the second game in that or you know fallen order and last jedi i'm currently playing fallen order and the game i have it running at 4k i do have upscaling turned on on it it's set to quality as you can see with the graphics, it looks very good. And I do have ray tracing turned on and turned to the maximum setting. Because currently, with the current Mesa drivers, my RX 7900 GRE handles it perfectly fine, I'm finding. It maintains above 60 at all times. So the Rad V driver has improved with ray tracing because before the 25 driver I barely could hold 60 and now it stays at 60 the entire time and I have vSync turned on with it but the game you know looks phenomenal but I do all my modern gaming on Linux and if I have any games that are multiplayer or co-op I do play those under Linux also because I intentionally only choose games that I know work on Linux and pretty much all of the best current single player games, they pretty much have all worked on Linux. So, you know, from Elden Ring and everything like that, when I play games, you know, in co-op with my daughter or other family, it works fine. You know, I just make sure I choose games. And honestly, you know, recently Baldur's Gate 3 got a update for a native Linux build of it, which is actually more optimized for the Steam Deck. However, I have been playing the native version on my desktop. I wanted to test it out, but it does perform extremely well on the Steam Deck now. Like with pop-in of shadows and stuff, it completely went away. That happens on the Steam Deck if you're running it on Proton. But if you run the native version, it runs perfectly fine. And I don't notice any pop-in of shadows coming in after you've already walked into a spot with running the native version. So... It is nice to see that some developers are actively 
making native copies of their games, making native Linux builds of their games. There's a survival horror game that I would like to play. Uh, it is available in a native build. It's actually made by the developers that did the Silent Hill 2 remake. And Silent Hill 2 runs perfectly fine on my computer. That game, however, is not super optimized, so I can't really run ray tracing on that game and get a good, stable, playable frame rate because I like to have at least 60 frames a second. But I do recommend if you're someone that just live streams single player games all the time on YouTube or Twitch or Rumble. I actually, if you don't want to go to Windows 11, I recommend to go ahead and test Linux, you know, get a second SSD for your computer. Put it in, put Linux on it so that Windows is still there on a separate drive and just give it a try. Uh, I honestly believe with the way stuff is currently going with uh, gaming that Linux is a viable option if you're just a, a gamer and don't really do a lot of the competitive online multiplayer games, even though you do have things like the finals and a bunch of other competitive games that do work on Linux perfectly fine. You know, for me, I would like to start live streaming possibly on a separate YouTube channel. And it'll be 100% Linux, but, you know, all of your Dark Souls and uh, different Souls-like games, those all work on Linux. And the co-op multiplayer setup for those games also works on Linux. But look forward to some more videos pertaining to gaming content on Linux, specifically for the gaming side of Linux and some content creation stuff that I do do on Linux. And comment below if you have anything you'd like me to try out, test, uh, different things. I am going to be put, putting an HDMI capture card in my computer here soon to actually capture some game consoles. So look forward for some of that content. And comment below, share the video. And I'll see you next time. Later.